Have you heard of a software called Mind Manager? Based on the mind mapping methodology, Mind Manager helps individuals, teams, and organizations to capture and structure and visualize ideas starting with a central topic and working your way out to the finer details of your subject. But to categorize Mind Manager as a pure mind mapping software would be misleading. We think of Mind Manager as a business mapping software that allows you to combine the intuity of the mind mapping methodology with a comprehensive task management tool set and integrations to industry leading softwares such as Office 365, SharePoint, and Microsoft Teams. Mind Manager helps you to rate your ideas, perform complex calculations created in Mind Manager or imported from Excel with visual indicators of when you get close to or exceed key numbers. You can insert links and file attachments directly into your topic, never losing track of your documents. Update task progress, start and due date, and all other task information directly in your topics. The task rollup shows your overall time consumption, and you can also plan the tasks in the built-in Gantt chart where you create dependencies and critical paths by drag and drop. And to ensure that you get the most out of your Mind Manager experience, we've created the built-in Mind Manager Learning Center. That in combination with the Mind Manager Starter Academy found on the resources and learning at mindmanager.com, you will be up and running in no time. When creating a map in Mind Manager, you start by selecting a template from the template library. From here, it's all up to your imagination. We've seen users create intuitive org charts over their organization with filter capabilities to display the different regional area responsibilities. We also create knowledge dashboards in-house, like this one, showing how to work with the Mind Manager formulas. Let's have a look at the operators and click the thumbnail to show us some of the combinations. We can build flowcharts describing a service process, filtering on standards, and if needed, linking or attaching files for a certain step in your process. Or a racy matrix showing us the responsible for creating an invoice, who's been consulted, and who's accountable. Another strength is the ability to adapt your view. We can unhide or hide information to fit any audience. On top of the previously shown Gantt, you can view your content in either schedule view, icon view, or the tag view. So regardless of scope or project size, if you're a student planning your master thesis or a product manager planning the next Mars landing, Mind Manager allows you to capture, structure and visualize ideas however you see fit. It's all about unleashing your creativity. Let's take this task report as an example. I insert a new subtopic. I name it task three. I add the task information. And now I can change the start and due date, either in the calendar or by dragging and dropping from another topic. I do the same, drag and drop two resources into my task. And now hovering about the task information shows me the task information, the resources and costs. If I mark my central topic and click the roll up task, I get a summary of all tasks in this map. Roll up cost does the same for resources and general cost. If you're on the run, the Mind Manager Go app allows you to snap information to the Mind Manager Snap Queue, information that can be dragged into your map and elaborated on the next time you're in front of a computer. Here I'll take a resource and add a start date. But what if I want to send my three tasks to a SharePoint task list? Well, then I simply mark them, click the Advanced tab, and the drop down on SharePoint, I click Send to SharePoint. Here I can send to any SharePoint list I have access to. After a couple of seconds of loading, you will see how the SharePoint icons are added to your topics together with a link that leads you to the SharePoint site and task that we just uploaded. Here I can edit the task. Let's say we update it to 75% complete. We hit save. And now returning to Mind Manager, I can right click and refresh. Then we will see how it's updated. I now change it to 100%, hit refresh again, return to the SharePoint site and refresh this page. This means we have a two-way sync. Not only can we do changes and send them from Mind Manager, but also fetch them from SharePoint. Another common use case for SharePoint is to query SharePoint lists. Here we have the ability to first choose the site that we want to query. We pick what kind of query we want to create. Let's do a task list and we pick the test site and hit finish. Now all the tasks sitting on that test site 
is imported into Mind Manager. We can drag and drop them and reorder our topics in the map and rename this to phase number one. So now we know that we have a two-way sync of sending and fetching information from SharePoint as well as creating queries. But we can also save our entire map in the SharePoint site. Let's pick the English folder and save it as task report B. This creates a huge potential for teams where not all team members have a Mind Manager license. In SharePoint, you can click the view in browser. Then the map will load and show the HTML5 version of the map. It still carries all the content, attachments, and links, together with the possibility to filter the map on any content such as priority or progress. As SharePoint is the storage media behind Microsoft Teams, the Mind Manager app for Teams enables you to open maps directly within Teams and by doing so, initiating a co-editing session. So if you and a colleague open the map at the same time in Teams, you both can be working on the same canvas. For this example, my colleague Jan is helping me out. John is based in Alzenau, Germany, whilst I'm sitting in Stockholm, Sweden. The only thing that matters is that we both have the Mind Manager app for Teams and access to the same team site. If I click the progress bot button on Jan's topic here, you see that I'm locked out. It's one user per topic, so you can't overwrite each other. Now, we'll go ahead and drag in some information here, resources and others. Obviously, I have the right hand menu as well if I want to come into the more detailed projects plannings with dates and so on. But it works fine to just drag and drop them for this example. And it might be worth mentioning that the Mind Manager app for Teams is offered as a standalone application. This means that a light user can create new maps or join a co-editing session without having the desktop install of Mind Manager. Let's move over to the Kanban view. Jan is still editing the map in the standard map view. Whilst we're free to choose any view of our liking, we can work with the start view dates, change the icons, have a look at the comments, add new ones, work with the tags, have a look at the properties in the topics, add notes, links, attachments, exactly like it would be a standard mind map. Now, we also have the mind manager snap queue in the Teams application. Now let's jump over to the priority view and exactly like with tag view, we can work our topics here, change priorities and anytime we want, return to the standard view to review the full map. I also have the possibility to join a co-editing session online via browser. The only thing I need is my mind manager credentials and a browser. You can also invite externals to join your session. All they need is the free of charge mind manager account and they're up and running. When back in Mind Manager, Mind Manager will tell you to reload the latest version of the file and show you all the changes that's been done during your co-editing session. But what if you're the manager of two or more individual teams which all have their individual task report? What you will do is create the project report dashboard in Mind Manager, simply a central topic where you will go to the map rollup, go to your cloud storage or local storage where you have their team reports, and roll it up into your map. Then you will choose either to take a specific topic, branch, or a central topic, like in this case, and roll them up side by side. No more challenges comparing files with each other. You literally have all the content in one map. And you also have the links to original files. So let's say we do an update here of task two, task one, save it and close, and now refresh our map roll up for team A. We see that phase one is green, meaning done. But what if you want to share your material with an external? You don't want to give access to your SharePoint or you might not even have a cloud storage to share it via. Then Mind Manager offers the publish functionality. You publish with or without the password, you get the link to the map, you send that out in an email and your counterpart will just open that up in the browser and get the full version of your map. All the product plans are in there, file attachments, links, you name it. And they also have the possibility to filter the map on all its content. The map can also be viewed in either the standard mode like now, but also tag view, icon view, and the presentation mode. Now, if you do a change to one of your maps after sharing the link, the top left corner published will change from blue to gray and say changes since last published. You simply go ahead and publish the updates and anyone holding that link will have the latest version of your file. 
With the new and improved Mind Manager slide functionality, you can generate slides from your map content or create standalone Mind Manager slide presentations, which is what I will be using for this summary. Mind Manager offers a powerful suite of intuitive visualization products that helps individuals and teams think more clearly. It helps you make better informed decisions and to get on the path to personal and organizational success. With a large selection of diagram types, Mind Manager helps you to capture ideas and information from various data sources and to visualize their complex interrelationship. With Mind Manager, dynamic diagrams can be created, analyzed, and interactively edited to bring clarity and structure to plans, projects, and processes. All of this combined with Mind Manager's powerful set of import and export capabilities, integrations, and sharing options is what allows the Mind Manager customer to collaborate and communicate more effectively, boost productivity, and to gain a competitive edge. Now the question is, what will you say the next time someone asks you, have you heard of a software called Mind Manager? Oh,